Hey guys, it's Kat. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to just be a little update on my conch piercing. Um, on my channel I have a video of uh, my experience of getting it done and everything and like the pain scale and all that. But today I'm just going to give you guys a little three month update because it's been exactly three months. I got it done on August 23rd. Uh, and today is the 23rd of November, or 24th of November, um, so not quite a month, but anyway, so I am going to be telling you guys exactly, you know, how it's been doing and um, what I've been using to clean it and how often I clean it and so on and so forth and just like the state of the piercing and how far into the healing process it is. So first I'll show you everything I use to clean it. I clean it usually two to three times a day um, and uh, usually sometimes one of those times is in the shower depending on if I shower that day and in the shower I use piercing soap and this piercing soap is called well it's tattoo and piercing soap so it's called tattoo goo and it's deep cleansing soap for tattoos and piercings I got it on Amazon but I'm sure you could pick it up in like a tattoo store yeah it's just this like light green bottle um, super cheap I think it was like five between like five and ten dollars not bad at all and I know it looks really small but there's actually a lot in here um, it looks like this it's like it's like actual soap, like, like that, you just put, like I would just put some on my finger, yeah, just put some on my finger and then rub it on my piercing, like on the front and then on the back, and then um, let it sit for a little bit and then wash it off while I'm in the shower. And then I also have this piercing soap that I actually got at the piercing shop. Um, it was a little bit extra, which was kind of annoying. We didn't know that until we paid, which really sucks. But anyway, it's just this H2Ocean um, blue-green foam soap. Sadly, I don't like using this just because of the texture of it. It's just, it's very foamy and it like disappears in your fingers and it's just like, it just, it comes off very easily. So like, I feel like once you put it on your piercing, it just like, disappears I don't know but I don't I don't really like using this so I wouldn't recommend this um, I mean I'm still I'm sure it's still useful and helps with healing but I just I don't like this I like the tattoo goo better and I feel like there's more in here like I know it doesn't really look that way but I don't know this is just it's really full and it's heavier so it's like you would expect it to have more in here but anyway, yeah, but you can still use this. It's still the H2 Ocean brand, so I'm sure it's, you know, it helps, but I just don't like using it. Um, I'll probably just give this to one of my friends or something. But anyway, and then the thing I mainly use to clean it when I'm not in the shower is the H2 Ocean um, spray salt. The uh, spray salt? Wow, that made sense, Catherine. Um, the uh, piercing spray of sea salt so yeah <laughs> just the basic you can get this on I usually get mine on Amazon um, in like a two pack but as you can see I also have some extras back there but yeah because it kind of runs out kind of fast um, but I have a little trick for if you don't want it to run out fast is usually um, I use a q-tip to clean it I guess you can also use like a cotton ball but I feel like that'd be kind of hard to maneuver but I'm gonna be wasting a little bit of it showing you this but if you want to use a little bit less of it when you have the q-tip here hold on I'll actually get a q-tip this might be a little bit hard to show but okay so you have the q-tip right and then you have the piercing or the spray so most people when they spray it on the q-tip they you know hold it down all the way and it goes like that right but if you hold it down less then less comes out and you can just See how it's like a line instead of like a burst of um, spray? So that's a little trick for if you're trying to waste less of your spray. And I feel like it definitely has helped. So once it's on here, I kind of just like go like that. I like clean around it, like underneath it, go all up in there, you know. You know, you gotta be gentle with her though, you know, treat her with respect. But yeah, just clean all up in there, clean behind her, clean around her. And then on the back, just kind of go around. I kind of just feel around, you know, you don't really need to see that part. But anyway, so yeah, that's how I clean it. I do that twice a day. 
Um, and then the third time of the day will be if I take a shower and use this. Um, but obviously I don't shower every day, so I only end up cleaning it twice a day sometimes. But yeah, that's how I clean it. Um, as for its state of healing, it's been pretty good. I mean, it hasn't really hurt. Sometimes it hurts when I like touch it in the shower when I'm cleaning it because I have to use my finger. I don't use a Q-tip for the soap, but maybe I should. I don't know. I feel like I probably should, but it's like since the soap's already on my hands, you know. But anyway, sometimes it hurts, at least especially in the beginning of the healing process. It would hurt when I would like clean it in the shower with that soap, but now it doesn't really hurt that much. I can kind of like touch it and it doesn't really hurt pull it back and forth like it it's just like the tiniest amount of pain but again it's only been three months this piercing takes like nine to twelve months to hear heal so like yeah I mean it definitely doesn't hurt as much as it used to um you can still move it around I haven't experienced any like bleeding or like pus or anything um which is normal during piercing during healing piercing if you didn't know that but Oh my god, there's like a guy walking his dog and he was staring at me. Okay, anyway. Um, but yeah, so I, it hasn't bled. It hasn't like had any, um, you know, liquids come out of it. So I think it, I think the healing process is going very well. I think I've been really good with cleaning it. It seems to be fine. Um, obviously, I don't move it a lot. I only really move it when I clean it in the shower. But <laughs> it seems like it's doing really well. I can't wait to change it though. I'm getting kind of tired of this jewelry. I really want to change it to a hoop. I'm so excited. I have this, I have my eye on this gold hoop um, on Amazon and then I also have one on body candy that I want to get and they're so cute. I can't wait to wear them but I can't change it for a while so stuck with this for now. Um, but yeah, it's been doing very, very well. Um, I'll probably do another update video at six months and then maybe another at nine months and then a year or so and then when it's fully healed. I don't know. But yeah, I like watching these types of videos when people like update, give updates on the piercing and just, you know, letting their subscribers know how it is because, you know, we're all very interested to know about everyone's body piercings. But yeah, so... That's my update. It's doing pretty good. Doesn't really hurt and I've been doing good with cleaning it. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to smile and have a great day. I don't know what that was. Just